Mass percent is a way to measure concentration in solutions. It is the fraction of the mass of the whole solution that is made up of that particular solute. The units of mass that you use don't matter as long as they are both the same. If you write times 100 at the end, your answer will already have been converted into a percent. If you don't write that times, you'll have to convert your decimal answer to a percent on your own. 40 grams of isopropyl alcohol are dissolved in 160 grams of water. What's the mass percent in that solution? Well, the percent m over m, or mass percent, is the mass of the solute. That's the thing that's dissolved into the solution. Here it is 40.0 grams. And the mass of the solution, that is the combination of both solute and solvent, is 40 plus 160. Look at that trick. The 160 here is just water. And when you combine it with the alcohol, you get 200 grams of solution. All right, so 40 out of 200 times 100 gives me 20%. Your units are m over m, and I'm just going to look at my significant figures. There's three significant figures here, four here. So this needs three significant figures. We'll make that 20.0% since we do know it to that accuracy. In my second example here, we have five milligrams of sodium chloride and we want to make a solution that is 0.2% by mass. How many grams of water should we add? So that 0 0.2 is my percent M over M. I know I have five milligrams of sodium chloride. Now I'm gonna convert that to grams for myself. Five milligrams, you can convert that to grams by dividing by a thousand because there are a thousand milligrams in a gram. That gives me 0 0.005 grams of sodium chloride. We actually don't know the total mass of the solution, but you can bet we'll figure it out. Don't forget your times 100 because this 0.2 was in percent. Now, in order to solve this equation, we're going to have to undo division by m on this side. We'll do that by multiplying the other side by m. And now to solve for m or isolate it, we can undo timesing by 0.2. And we get that by dividing by 0.2 on the other side. There's lots of ways to mathematically manipulate this. But to get m here, I'm going to take this tiny number, divide it by 0.2, and times it by 100. That gives me an m of 2.5 grams. So I need to make the solution weigh 2.5 grams total, keeping in mind that I, I've already started with 5 milligrams of sodium chloride. So the official answer here is that the mass of water that you need is the mass of the solution minus the mass already accounted for by your solute. This ends up giving you still about 2.5 grams, but it's actually 2.495 grams of water. Now to the proper number of significant figures, it's actually still 2.5 grams, but I'm here to emphasize the fact that the number we solved for in this calculation is the mass of the solution. And so to get the mass of solvent that you're adding, you have to take away the mass of the solute. Anyways, mass percent is very useful. It is the ratio of the masses of solute and solution times by 100 to get it into a percent. There it is. It's beautiful. Best of luck.